Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday, December the 13th and we have no school today. We actually have some fun plans planned for today. We've had it planned for a couple of weeks now but one of my friends that we get together with every single year for like our annual Christmas get together unless somebody's sick or something. One year I think we were sick and we didn't get together until New Year. Anyway, they're coming over today. We're doing finger food. She's bringing some stuff. I'm going to make some stuff um, and we always exchange some kind of Christmas gift. This year it's like a family box. We just have like a bunch of little goodies in it for uh, for their family and then she'll have one for our family. So I'm excited to get together with them at one today. But I'm about to have to leave here in a few minutes and go pick up like a tin can or some kind of bag or box. Something to put all of her stuff in because I totally forgot to get that. So I got to run and make a last minute stop real quick before she gets here to put all of her things in and kind of fix that up. But before I go, I am going to go ahead and put our dinner in the crock pot. We're going to have a Mississippi chicken tonight. I always do the Mississippi pot roast, but I've never tried the Mississippi chicken. I've heard it's really good. So I am about to get my crock pot out. I'm going to get that put on for dinner and I'll show you how I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so I'm getting ready to put the chicken in the crock pot first. But I wanted to show y'all the other day we were at Walmart. Josh and I was, well, actually it was a couple weeks ago. And they had um, a whole Pioneer Woman set with a cutting board. It had the scissors. It had several really good knives in it. Um, all for $20. So I picked that up. So I am loving my new knives. They cut so good. And Y'all, we had to eat out so much last week that it's not even funny. So I am actually really excited to do some homemade meals this week. Because last week was just so, so busy. Like if, every time we turned around, we were having to go through a drive through or get takeout or something. Um... And I guess it's partly my fault for not planning better, but honestly, we were just so busy. All right, so now that I've got all of my chicken in there, I'm going to go in with this gravy mix and then also have this ranch packet. So I'm going to go in with both of these. I'm just going to sprinkle them both on the top. So are y'all ready for Christmas? Got everything bought and ready to go. I think we're finally prepared. Now we just need to wrap everything, which is a chore in itself. I really do enjoy wrapping. I love wrapping gifts, but um, I'm just finding the time here lately. Like Josh and I try to go upstairs in the evenings and wrap a few at a time. That way we're not stuck with so many on Christmas Eve. Plus the girls enjoy seeing them under the Christmas tree before Christmas anyway. All right, now I'm gonna go in with some of these peppers on top. And I like to add just a little bit of water around the sides to mine. All right, so I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to turn this on. I hear you, Millie. I'm going to put it on low because I don't need it on high. I'm going to cook it on low for about, I'm going to put it on eight hours and then I know how to cook before then. So, there it is. All right, so I am back from the dollar store now. I couldn't find any of the little cute tin cans that were big enough to put her stuff in, so I just got this plastic one that has the red lid. Plus, this will be um, useful for after Christmas for storage. I'm just gonna put some tissue paper in there, add all of her stuff. Also got these two trays. They were $2 a piece. I got this one, Peace, Love, and Joy, with a little truck that's super cute, and then I got this one, little Santa Claus one. These were $2 a piece. I'm gonna use these today. Just got them washed. I'm gonna put chicken nuggets on one and sandwiches on the other. And then I can use them at Christmas too. Okay, and then since she has been my friend for years, I got her something separately to go in a little gift bag. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. I almost got one for myself. I got it from Tractor Supply. Y'all, is that not the cutest little coffee mug ever? I mean, my goodness, it says Merry Christmas in it. So this one's especially for her. It's gonna go in a separate little gift bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna just cover this with some more tissue paper and stick the lid on there.
All right, y'all, so it is now the next day, and we are working hard on some schoolwork. Bethany is in her book. Everly is over there coloring in her Paw Patrol book. And then over here we have Amy. She's working on some math seeds. And Emily is down there working on her spelling list. And then Holly was sitting over there at the computer doing her math, but she ran to go fix her hair real quick. So we're working hard on school. Um, I didn't finish vlogging anymore last night because we had our friends here and we just enjoyed time with them. They actually didn't leave until around four and then we had dinner. And then we went to the church to um, kind of do some cleanup. Josh had to hang a monitor, different things like that. So we didn't get home until 10 last night. <laughs> And we're not used to getting none that late, so we kind of just brushed teeth and went straight to bed. So that is so pretty. You're doing good at Paw Patrol. What did you do to your nails? He painted them. <laughs> did you get Bethany's nail polish? Let's see your nails. They're so pretty, though. They're purple, aren't they? You got purple nails? Oh, yeah. She fell yesterday while our friends were here. Were you on the bike or the scooter? Um, not on that. And she got boo boos on her little face. Look that way. Look at Holly. See, she's got little scratches, but she feels better today, huh? Feel better? I'm so glad. Are you helping Emily with her spelling words? Hey! Are you getting a head start? Huh? Are you getting a head start? Say. Say, I'm just too irresistible. Emily had to go pick me up. Yeah. Okay, you come to Mama. Emily's got to do her spelling test. Emily has a spelling test to do, yeah. All right, number seven is apostrophe. Apostrophe. All right, now that we're done with our lessons, we're doing some Christmas drawing. We're drawing some Christmas gifts and Christmas trees. There's Amy's Christmas tree with presents under it. That's so pretty. All right, so it is 12.30 now. We're finished up with school. But yeah, we had so much fun with our friend yesterday, and she got me this cute little coffee mug. I think we always think to get each other coffee mugs every year, um, but she got me this one that says, But First Coffee, with a Hobby Lobby gift card, and then our family box had, like, uh, stuff to do s'mores, popcorn, and hot cocoa with it. So it was real sweet, and we had fun. The kids had a blast. They were... Oh my goodness, y'all. They were so wore out last night by the time we got home um, from church. But anyway, but today's Tuesday, which means school day for my two older girls. This is actually their last week, and then they have all of next week off. The week after that for Christmas and New Year break, which I'm super excited to have them home. Um, so they go today, and they go Thursday, and then they're out for a couple of weeks. So we decided to go ahead and let them finish out the whole year. We were thinking about maybe taking them out second semester, but with Kylie being in high school, she's kind of already building her credits up there. And I hate to pull her out mid year. So we're gonna let her finish out the year. We're gonna let Allie finish out the year because she would really like to finish out because she's made friends there and things. So we understand that. So we're just gonna let them to go ahead and finish out the year. Buddy. We got a fun package in the mail yesterday. Their um, aunt and uncle from North Carolina, their great aunt and uncle from North Carolina, sent them a package. Um, it has so many goodies and it. it has uh, can candy canes, bows, socks, all kinds of candy, just bunches of fun stuff. Yeah, here's the box. It's just got loads of goodies in it. So they were, they're were they always super excited to get a package from them. But now it's 12.30 and I need to figure out what to do for lunch. I think I'm just doing some chicken nuggets because I think I have a whole nother bag of that. Yeah, jo I think Josh took over the kisses. That's his favorite. All right, so for lunch, we actually decided just to do some fish sticks and some sweet Hawaiian rolls. Pretty simple. Everybody agreed on fish sticks instead of um, mm. uh, chicken nuggets. All right, so I'm all done with lunch. The kids are finishing up their lunch. I told them they'd go outside and play for a little while before we have to go pick the two older girls up for school because it's a beautiful day. But I wanted to show y'all something that I got at Walmart grocery pickup the other day. But I was watching a video the other day on how to make lattes. Y'all, I so miss my espresso machine, my, my Breville. I kind of regret getting rid of it. I know I didn't really have the counter space. You got a sucker? Yeah. But the other day, Josh took the trim off the bottom of our counters, which was about, I guess about that thick. And when he took that down, it freed up so much counter space for me to be able to slide up under our cabinets because before it was just sitting over on the other counter kind of in the way. Um, and plus, I think I was drinking a little bit too much. It was giving me heart flutters, but I miss it. I would just not drink as much if I had another one. But anyway, I was looking at recipes on how to make a latte. So I ordered some of this Dulce de Lache. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's like this cream that goes on the top of your coffee so you just like kind of make your coffee or your espresso put some um, milk in it some warm milk and then put your frothy milk on the top and then you just kind of drizzle this on the top um, so I don't know how this would be 
but just a regular coffee uh, i don't have a way to make a latte anymore but i may try this with my regular coffee and just drizzle some on the top and see how it tastes um because it looks so good so very good okay so i just have a cup of coffee i did caramel drizzle k cup with some peppermint mocha uh, creamer so i'm just gonna do a little bit of whipped cream on top and then use a little bit of this and i'll let y'all know how this tastes i know it would be much better with a latte but we'll see i'm gonna try it that's pretty good that cream on top the the latte or whatever it's super good it looks, i mean it's got a really good flavor to it okay so we're back home for picking the girls up um and i just got a package in the mail my instant pot y'all has not been working for a while now don't touch everlina no <laughs> Don't touch. Um, anyway, my Instant Pot hasn't been working for a while. It always flashes the burn. Done a lot of research and it says it could be like a faulty Instant Pot. Something to work. I don't know. It's never worked right for me. I've had it for a long time. So, uh, I was talking to Josh and I had a gift cards and we decided to go ahead and get a new Instant Pot. I'm going to show it to you. I'm super excited with my gift cards and everything. With my gift cards and everything, I got this Instant Pot Pro Multi Cooker uh, for like $87 because I think it's regular It's regular $130. Um, and it's a 10 in 1. I just love all this digital stuff so you can actually see the time and see what it's doing. So I've got it running. It's um, like starter thing where you just put a little bit of water in it and kind of test it out. So it's doing that now. So see, it's over here doing this now. I've got it. It's preheating. It's almost done preheating. And then it'll cook for five minutes. I turn the keep warm all for this cycle since it's just the testing part of it and then once this is done um it'll be ready to go to put whatever I want. i'm so excited to have a new instant pot y'all because these things if you have one you know they cook super fast you can throw like frozen food in there whatever so i'm excited i'm super excited to use this okay y'all so my instant pot has went through all its settings it's perfectly clean and i'm going to go ahead and use it tonight we are having dinner and i'm going to make a side with it it came with this little recipe book so i'm going to make i'm not making the pork i'm just going to make this instant pot mac and cheese real quick and i have the recipe right here so i thought i would go ahead and start this so it says to start with um six cups of water i've got the six cups of water now you go in with a pound of elbow macaroni this is actually two pounds i'm just going to do half of the box stir it around a little bit all right, so now we're going to select pressure cook. We're going to um, custom high, so go ahead and hit the dial again. We're going to set the time just for one minute on those noodles. And then hit start. Now I'm warming two cups of milk over here in the saucepan. Okay, so now we're going to select the saute, and we're going to do that on low. And then we're going to hit start now we're just going to take a half ounce of butter put it in there and let it start melting let it sizzle a little bit and once it starts sizzling and then we're going to add our flour to it and we need a one fourth cup of flour so once this is melted and sizzling i'll add my flour in okay the butter has started to sizzle so i'm going to add in my one fourth cup of flour and we're just going to whisk that around so we're just going to let this cook in there for just a few minutes until it um, before it starts to brown and then we're going to add in our two cups of warm milk all right so that's what it looks like I'm going to add in our two cups of warm milk and then we're going to add in some salt pepper and paprika Salt, some paprika and then we're going to cook it for about three minutes like this. Got about one more minute before we add the cheese. I'm going to add in three cups of cheddar cheese and two cups of mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to add in all the cheese. Stir all of that together and let the cheeses melt. Okay, now that the cheese has melted, we're going to take our noodles and go ahead and pour them in. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the cancel button and just stir it all in together and it's done. All right, there it is. It looks so good and so cheesy. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. 
All right, y'all, so it is almost seven. It's after dinner. That mac and cheese was so good. Josh and all the girls loved it. It turned out so good in the Instant Pot. And then we just had some chicken and then uh, tater tots with it. Everything was good. And then after that, we made our gingerbread houses. We love doing that every year. We usually just do one as a family, but this year we actually had two. So we split off into teams and done kind of like a little friendly competition. But both of our houses were terrible. They both fell apart. So the kids just started eating them like right away when they fell apart. But we had a lot of fun doing it. So I had to run out real quick. So tomorrow night at church, we're having a little dinner, um, like a little finger food thing. And the youth is preparing some of that. So I had to run out to the grocery store and get a few things for our finger foods tomorrow night. I'm also going to run in Hobby Lobby real quick. I'm in Hobby Lobby parking lot and grab some of their little Christmas cans um, so I can make some little treats for our neighbors and things like that. So that's what we're doing now. I just have Allie with me. Allie read with me. Josh is at home with the rest of the girls. So we're going to run in here. But I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.